Hello, we're going to talk today about how to configure the Tableau Cloud app for Microsoft Teams. So the first thing I'll do is within Teams, I'm going to go to the marketplace and search for Tableau. I can see the Tableau Cloud app right at the top. And we're just going to use the add button to install the app. Now the first thing you're going to see when you install it is initial setup screen. And the way it works, the, the way the app works is that we pull Tableau content from your Tableau Cloud site and surface it in Microsoft Teams. So we need to tell the app where to find your Tableau Cloud site and how to authenticate. If I go over to Tableau Cloud, I just have to go down to settings, to connected apps, and we're going to create a new connected app. This will be a direct trust connected app. We'll give it a name like Microsoft Teams. And we want to enable this app as well as generate a secret for it. We'll also need the URL here. So I'm going to take the URL for this Tableau Cloud site, copy it, and I'm going to paste it right here for the base URL. Really all we need is this part here, but I also wanted to grab the site name from the URL as well. Now optionally I can give it a label. For Tableau Cloud, if I don't give it a label, it'll just grab the site name here and display that. Um, but perhaps you have two Tableau Cloud sites that have very similar names and want to differentiate them a little bit further, or maybe you have a Tableau server um, with a default site and that doesn't have a name, you can give it a label. So it's an optional thing just to make your life easier. The user mapping attribute, uh, this is basically how we authenticate from Teams into Tableau Cloud. So the principle here is that your user in Teams has to match up to a user in Tableau Cloud. And we, in order to do that, we'll grab some information from your Microsoft Entra profile. So there's two places that you could, you might find your Tableau username. Uh, either it's going to be your user principal in Entra, or there's a mail property which typically has email in there. So whichever one of those has the email address associated with your Tableau Cloud account, just select that. And the last thing we have to do is add our connected app details. So we're going to copy the client ID. We're going to copy the secret ID. And we're going to copy the secret value. Then you just have to hit the add site config button. And that'll do a couple things. So first, it'll verify the site, your base URL and your site name actually point to a valid Tableau Cloud site. Second, it'll use your connected app details to actually try and authenticate as your Teams user. And third, it'll verify that the user you tried to sign in as is actually a site admin on your Tableau Cloud site. And if all three of those things are true, then the configuration will be complete. Now you have a couple options. You can either add more sites, which will take you to the configuration page, or you can just hit get started and that should bring you to the, the Tableau page. Now, if this is your first time signing in, you probably don't have any content here. You might not have marked any dashboards as favorites. You might not be following any pulse metrics, um, but you can make those changes pretty quickly. So I'm logged in here um, in Tableau Cloud as the same user account. It's the same email address here that matches my user in Teams. So if I wanna find some favorites, there's also a favorites button here, which will show me the same thing. I don't have any favorites yet. Uh, but if I go over to Explore, I can pick some content that I want to uh, highlight in Teams. So you'll notice the favorite icon shows up in a lot of places for prep flows, for data sources, for workbooks. Really what we're looking for from the app perspective is dashboards, or in Tableau terms, it would be called a view. So any view that you've marked as a favorite, I'll mark a few here, will end up showing up in the Tableau Cloud site. So if I go over here and just refresh this page, reload the app, or if I switch between different tabs, now you'll see some favorites dashboards pop up. And while that's first loading, I can also subscribe to some pulse metrics. So I'll just go into pulse here. And let's find a metric 
I'll just follow this one and follow this one, and I should start seeing those on the Pulse page. So if I go over to the Pulse page, I should see these metrics starting to show up. And of course, if I click on these metrics, it takes me to the fully embedded experience. Same with dashboards. Now, if you need to make any changes to your configuration, you can go to the configuration tab. And tab has two sections, personal settings and Tableau site config. So your Tableau site config is gonna list out all the connected sites that you've created. You can always use this button here to add additional ones if you need to, or delete any existing ones. Um, but if you do have more than one Tableau Cloud site configured with the Tableau app and Teams, then you're going to you're going to have multiple options here under your default Tableau site under Personal Settings. So this is a this is a user specific setting. So some users might want to look at the Teams testing site. Other users might want to look at a separate site by default, and that impacts what shows up when you first load the. Uh, the personal app here. You'll notice there's a drop down and I can switch between different sites. So that determines what content shows up by default. Also, that default Tableau site gets used by the message extension. So if I go into a personal chat or create a post within a channel and select the Tableau Cloud app, it's going to prompt me for searching for a view, which is a dashboard, or a pulse metric. But I never have to pick which, uh, which Tableau Cloud site I want to query. And that's determined by the default Tableau site from personal settings in the app. So at this point, you should have a fully configured and working uh, Tableau Cloud app within Teams, and you should be able to see your content there. Thanks for watching.